So I love to hear your testimonies. I love to hear your stories. Um, you know, we had uh, Tim Hollerman come, come on here um, last week, I think it was, or the week before, all these weeks running together, but how he took $1,500 May 1st and grew it to over a half a million dollars. And I mean, just as sweet and, and as humble as they come, um, his story. And then, of course, uh, Jerry Wright out of Detroit. Tamara had him come on. He took a $50 account. And I think it was in three weeks. Am I right, Tamara? You know, grew that thing to $10,000. So, you know, my thing is, right. is that if it can happen, is that right? Yes, that is right, Dr. Jewell. Yeah, my thing is, and this is how I felt, that if it can happen for somebody else, that it can happen for me. God never ever puts an example in front of your face for you not to become a sample of it. I said, God never ever puts an example in front of your face for you not to become a sample of what you've seen. And so I'm so grateful. Um, and that's why you probably hear me call their names a lot because honestly, um, they made uh, a huge impression on my life um, in that trading space and just their ability to get it, their ability to share. And so now for me to be experiencing it, I'm like a little kid in a candy store. I mean, I'm just so grateful um, and so sober that, you know, it's happening. And so I just want to give a big shout out to all the traders um, that got got this thing, ran with it, and kept sharing their testimonies, uh, because some things you have to build your faith with. So Kathy, Lee, Janelle, all of you um, will always have a special place in my heart just because you all got it, you know, and I was so happy you got it. And so now, um, but had you not shared those stories, those consistent stories of winning, um, I don't know if my faith would have been built for it for me to um, do it. You know, the reality is it's so interesting, and, and, and this is the humanity of all of us, you know, there's a divinity side and then there's a humanity side. You know, as much as we're praying, God increase us, God increase us, God take us to the next level. It's so interesting that sometimes those tools can be right in front of our face and we still not use it. And so it just shows the vulnerability and, and the fragility of man that something can be right before his face, but it doesn't mean that he exercises or fully takes hold of everything. And so I'm just so glad that um, I change my mindset about how um, I was trading and I, I kept telling myself okay you're going to start trading in the mornings and you're going to start trading at night and um, you're going to incorporate that in your daily routine and I remember thinking oh how am I going to do that uh, but you know it's so interesting we pray for stretch but then when it's time to stretch we make excuses and so um, you know I just have to be honest because I want all of you to continue to be honest about where you are and where you need to be uh, the best kind of leader is an honest leader an honest leader and a transparent leader. And there's absolutely, there's power in recognizing where you are and where you need to be. There's power in recognizing where you are and where you need to be. And then there's also power in actually saying, I am going to do it. And so, um, so anyway, I just wanted to, hopefully that encourages you. Um, if you haven't started using a harmonic scanner, start using it, start using it every single day. The accuracy of the scanner is just absolutely a game changer. I also thank uh, my chair one of my chairman colleagues this morning, Gary, because Gary would be on the chairman chat going off if that scanner went down. I mean, five minutes, he'd be like going in. <laughs> and I'd be like, okay, okay. <laughs> but I get it. You know, I get it now. And so I uh, remember if you can have a $10 a day, you can have a $100 a day. If you can have a $100 a day, you can have a $500 a day. If you can have a $500 a day, you can have a $1,000 a day. You know what I mean? Um, and if you can have a $1,000 a day, you can have a $5,000 a day. If you can have a $5,000 a day, you can have a $10,000 a day. It helped me so much when Tim said last week, he said, my trading goal is $5,000 a day off of the scanner. I said, okay, I'm there. I'm, I'm going to shoot for a thousand. And I said, within the next 30 days, I'm going to be at 5,000. And by January, 2018, I will be at $10,000 a day. And then by March, 2018, I'm going to be at $20,000 a day. And so what I want to encourage you to do, as a matter of fact, this is something that I had unctioned in my spirit. I got so much stuff written on my um, mirror. It's not even funny. I need to just take the stuff that I already have written. I got like a bunch of goals and stuff <laughs> written that I speak over my life every day. And I'm like, I was about to get a new sheet of paper. But instead of doing that, just get the old sheet of paper and put it on the old sheet of paper. But I'm going to write that down. And I want to encourage you um, this morning, uh, as soon as I stop talking, I'm about to write that down. I'm getting ready to write that down. And I'm getting ready to do the communion over it. Um, as a matter of fact, today, I was prompted in my heart actually yesterday for us to go 
on a three-day fast, on a three-day fast with no meat. We want to stay clear. We want to stay focused. We want to stay bold. And so um, I started that fast today. Um, hopefully, you'll join in. Um, let me see what I want to put it on. I'll put it on this one. See, I got my confessions. Let me see. Can I show it to you? How do you flip the screen? Oh, right there. Okay, let's see. Can you see? Oh, y'all still see me. Switch camera. Okay, there we go. Oh, wait. Okay, there it is. So these are some confessions I do every day. And then these are confessions I do every day. And then I got, I got confessions everywhere. Okay, but it works. <laughs> it works. I'm trying to show y'all. Um, I don't know. It's weird. Oh, there it is. Confessions there. That's for me being a good wife. That's for our TV. See, it's kind of torn up. I need another one. But anyway, the point is, I'm putting these confessions. Let me change my screen back to me. Okay, so anyway, I'm getting ready to add that on there. So I want to encourage you to do um, the same thing. If you're in on the three-day fast, no meat, go ahead and put, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Okay, and so again, let's write down that trading goal, um, whatever that goal is. But remember that you can increase those goals quite easily because all it is is just a matter of increasing your lot size. It's all about a lot size, right? It's all about increasing that lot size. And so it's so funny that um, how this thing, I'm still blown away with how faith works. It still blows my mind <laughs> that you can set your heart on something and something you feel like you're so far away from. It's like you can go from not knowing anything about it to all of a sudden flourishing in it. Um, so it's just pretty amazing how God set that up. So write those goals out. Um, I would write them out because I wrote down on one of my confessions I have that I'm a seven-figure trader, uh, that I do four figures a day. And then I want, oh, yes, Janelle, you have a question, honey? Yeah, I, no, I want you to finish with your confessions. And then it's about our, one of our tools. Oh, okay, sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, and so anyway, um, I, on one of my confessions I had that I was doing um, $2,000 a day trading. And then, so anyway, I've got to change that. I want to change that and I'm upping it because um, I'm getting it. And because one of the things I was trying to figure out, like people like Tim and Jerry who have all these success, well, it's in their lot size. You know what I mean? It's in their lot size. And so as I increased my lot size, I started getting more. Okay, I just got a notification that we just got a thing on the scanner. I'm also going to have um, Chris come on the call um, sometime this week. We have a new web analyzer that I want him to talk about, um, that web analyzer. They were kind of chatting about that a little bit this morning. So I was just trying to figure out if any of you are using the web analyzer, um, please let me know because I want to see what the difference is. And I'm going to ask Chris to come on if he could give us some more clarity about the web analyzer and then of course they updated the scanner now he said the scanner actually has um, really accurate five minute uh, he left us a video I'm gonna send it out to some of you traders um, so you can see it I'll send it to you Janelle um, but he put a video on the chairman chat this morning and or late last night and he was saying how the scanner now has very accurate trades even on the five minutes so I was like oh wow so I'm always curious to hear what uh, time frames people are using and um, how is it working for them and if you are using the web analyzer I do want to hear from you this morning um, so again we'll start the three-day fast today um, no meat I also want to just say um, that uh, we are praying for Marquita Thomas her cousin Bonnie who is also in IML and trading and just a real 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 sweetheart um, she actually did our shirts for Girls Take Wall Street uh, the director China and I did and anyway she uh, passed suddenly um, and um, that was just like so sad so anyway um, they are doing a um, they have a donation for her that I'll put in the um, in the chat if anybody wants to um, you know if anybody wants to give certainly um, we can do that we're giving and um and so anyway if you want to give and she's in the dallas area her home going is there so if anybody's in that area we want to say that and so of course you know hearing that about somebody in the IML family is just um you know it, it, it was heartbreaking but you know i say this that god um has a plan 
uh, he still has a plan for her family, for Marquita. Uh, they were very, very close cousins, that one cousin that you could dream with. So let's continue to make sure that we're praying for um, Marquita and her family and um, and, um, and, and just that whole family, that God would be with them. She had two children that were 10 and 12. And so I'm just praying that there's a greater grace and a wisdom that will overtake those babies. And that though they will miss their mommy, that they will continue on to be successful and flourish. And what the enemy meant um, for their harm, that God will turn it around and use it for their good. You know, God's plan is always life, period. And some people are like, oh, it's God's will. No, it's never God's will for somebody to leave this earth early. Uh, but God still has a plan in that. So, um, so anyway, please make sure you stay prayerful for her. Um, if you haven't had an opportunity to um, um, RSVP for the Christmas party, please do so. We're going to have a great time. We had so much fun last year. Um, so I think that was all. Janelle, you wanted, you had a question, honey? Yes. Good morning, Dr. Jewel. Good morning, everyone. Um, I did have a question. I know you in the beginning of the call so that the fusion trader was not living up to your expectations. And um, as to a lot of us, the same thing has happened. So I want to know, for those people that, uh, I know we want people to tap into the tools, use the harmonic scanner and things like that, but a lot of people want to come in for the automation hands-free tools, and I just don't know what to tell them anymore. That's really good, Janelle. We actually just brought on two new traders. Uh, for Swipe Alerts and Fusion Trader. Um, so they are actively and aggressively working on that because you're right, there are going to be some people that just don't want to stop and take it. They may be a little stubborn in that area, as I was. Um, so you're right, but they are working on that um, actively, and we'll keep that before um, Chris, I know Jason told me he's really working on it with um, you bringing on some new traders. So my plan is, is that I'm watching one of the new ones. And so my plan is once I've seen a consistent steady growth, I'm going to throw money in an account just for them to trade just so that um, I can, you know, be able to say, hey, the fusion trader is working for me and the scanner, you know. Um, so, yeah, no, we're definitely on it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely, honey. Yeah, that's a good question, though. That's good. Yeah, they are definitely working on it. And if anybody on here is using the Fusion Trader and loving it and having good results, please share that. Please share that because this is a collective, you know, group family effort. And so one person is not going to have um, insight on everything. And so, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, some, honestly, some of the chairmen don't even talk about the Fusion Trader right now. They're just pushing the harmonic scanner. And uh, for fortunately, once a person, I, I didn't mean to say unfortunately, it's fortunately. Fortunately, once a person realizes how simple it is, um, they're like, <laughs> really? You know, but getting them there. So anyway, we're on that. Thanks, Janelle. Good question. Okay, great. Um, please make sure that you, uh, is that, can Chris look at Adrian as a trader? Okay, yes, okay, yes. Yes, Kathy. <laughs> um, please look at uh, booking, if you haven't already gotten your tickets for Vegas, please go ahead and get your tickets for Vegas. That absolutely needs to happen. Um, Vegas does not need to be an option. We need to be driving Vegas hard. Every, every leadership call you do, every prospecting, what webinar or call you do every meeting you do at your house you need to be pushing vegas 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 vegas, vegas. like that meeting that convention is going to be huge i want you all walking across that stage as chairman uh, that so that's march 16th 17th and 18th please go ahead and get your tickets for that i think the early bird special has been extended and so it's still going on so please 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 get your tickets to vegas uh conventions change everything Conventions change everything. I will definitely be at that uh, meeting in Vegas. I need you all to be in that meeting in Vegas. Um, I'm, I'm really pushing uh, very, very hard to have at least like a good, you know, I figure I've got about 4,500 people in my organization. I need to have like at least 3,000 strong 
um, there. And so make, set a goal for yourself and stretch it, make it big. And I promise you, if you start talking about it, then it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If you keep talking about it, just like we're talking about the scanner, now all of a sudden people are winning with the scanner because what we started driving it, driving it, driving it, driving it. So we keep driving Vegas, driving Vegas, driving Vegas, driving Vegas, then what's going to happen? We're going to end up having an amazing, amazing, amazing turnout. I want you all to look around that room and see most of your team members there because I'm telling you right now, um, we need to just go hard. We need to go hard with Vegas. So please make sure that you get your tickets for Vegas. Go ahead and buy those tickets. Lock that down right now. And then, of course, push it to your team. All right, great. So there were some updates on the scanner um, over the weekend. They're still doing some tweaks on it right now. Uh, but Camille's going to come on and share with us uh, what some of those um, changes are. And so Mill did a, a phenomenal, phenomenal webinar this morning uh, on the New York session with the scanner. Uh, Mill, thank you for that. She's like, I think I should. Yes, you should. People love you and they love your training. And you always do an amazing job at helping people to really grasp and understand. I know Dominique, I talked to her this morning. She's like, I finally got it. I got it. I had a block. I said, listen, a lot of people had a block. Okay, but the main thing is you stay connected long enough to get it. And that's the thing. Sometimes people don't stay connected long enough to flourish. If you would just stick with what you know, that God told you in your spirit about your money, about your life, about your family, about your legacy, and you will not relent no matter what it looks like, I promise you, eventually everything that you have been believing for will break wide loose. Nobody can stop your growth. Nobody can stop you prospering but you. And so you are the number one person. If you continue to work on yourself and ask Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you help me to prosper. You promised this in, in your word. And I declare that this is going to happen for me, that I'm not going to be broke. I'm not going to just be celebrating other people. I'm going to be able to celebrate my own success. Eventually you will get there. Okay. So what did you just put up? Oh, thank you, Solomon. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Solomon's always so helpful. I love you. Okay, great. Um, Millie, Mill, 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 Meek, you. Uh, hey, can you hear me? Meek, Meek, you about to get that Meek Mill money? <laughs> can you hear me yes i can okay all right hey everybody so um i'm just gonna go over a few updates and first off, i want to thank dr jewel for always pushing me to do more um in the area of training and you know plugging you guys in i want to shout out janelle and tamra and kathy for jumping on the call this morning and giving your input and supply like janelle She's just like amazing, you guys. Like everybody's amazing, but she really helped me because Dr. Jewel, you know how we've been going through the whole thing with um, calculating pips and you know, like you're like, this is just not my thing. But Janelle showed me how on the web scanner you can calculate the pips without having to calculate the pips. Hey, so, push through, <laughs> so I got that down to show you. <laughs> I was so excited. Like when I tell you, so, that was real cool. So I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of that this morning. Um, I just want to be able to share um, the, a few updates that they see, that you see. And um, let me share my screen. So give me one second. So I'm going to just share my full desktop because I'll probably be skipping through a couple things. So here's actual harmonic scanner. So I'm not going back over everything we went over this morning, but many of you all have been um, looking at implementing the strategy that Tim uh, gave us. And you know how he said, follow the D and when the D entry. So as you can see here, it's off. One of the things that I taught this morning from what I looked at and Dr. Jewel and I implemented it last night um, and have been seeing great results is three things that you want to look for. You want to look for the entry, the candle touching the D, but you also want to make sure the D has actually penetrated the entry point that is set by the scanner. Okay, and then you want to wait for your hey Mill. Hey Mill. Yes. Is is this a live one or is this a screenshot? This is live. Okay. Okay. All right. So so okay. So this looks like a good little setup almost. Okay. Everybody buy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Say, everybody buy. Which one is it? Yes. Everybody buy. Yes. Everybody Which buy. one is This it? is um, CADJPY 15 minutes. Okay, I'm already in. Is that All 15 right, cool. minutes? Yes. I'm in. Thank 15 minutes. Okay. 
So this will be a potential setup. So as you can see, when that first candle hit the D, it hadn't yet touched the entry point, so it wasn't perfect entry. So you can even see how it even went down further. So the person who entered here has to deal with some of that retracing to get to the entry point. So my personal recommendation is because we get so many trades, don't be so anxious to jump in when it gets to the D. Make sure those three things are lined up. It's touching the D. Um, the candle has at least touched or penetrated the entry set by the scanner and you get that confirmation candle. Okay. So those are some of the things you look for. Now, hey, as far as the update. Mil, Mil, huh? Mil. Hey, where is that stop loss? I don't see it. Oh, let me, uh, hold on. Bear with me. See it now? No. Is that the no, bottom? It's... Eight, nine, eight, eight, nine point seven six one oh nine. Okay, Josh is C A D J P Y. C A D J P Y. Okay, Chanel just said Euro AUD hit the entry too, but waiting on confirmation. So y'all make sure y'all take a look at that as well. Now, one of the things that I recommend, especially with this particular strategy that you wait is because the D actually moved. So um, there was another perfect example that we had, but it already happened. I actually have the other scanner up as well, and you can still see it a little bit right here. You can see two patterns you can see two triangles here so what's happening is when the scanner comes up is letting you know that the pattern is forming not necessarily that the pattern is complete the pattern will be complete once the point hits the d so the person that gets in on the pattern before it's hitting the d you're getting in before the pattern is complete and you're you know putting yourself at risk for the pattern to change or anything like that so that's why you want to put your position, yourself in position to wait until the actual um, candle hits the, the D, hits the entry point, penetrates the entry point, or whatever. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. On the harmonic scanner that's downloaded, which is what you see, it'll show you where it is versus where you need it to be. On the web scanner, you don't see that. So that's why I give you that point of watching where it is in conjunction to the entry point. because. The, the, the scanners brings up um, patterns that are forming. They're not necessarily complete. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, sorry. Family <laughs> video. Uh, family group chat going wild. Sorry, let me do that. <laughs> okay. So, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, now, um okay so let's go back to the web scanner because that's what most of us use i use this scanner when i'm at home i use the web scanner when i'm out so what they've done now if you look on this left hand side you have five different broker options i still use the trader's way well i use the trader's way option because trader's way tends to have larger um spreads than most brokers and because their spreads are larger, you tend to be able to go into profit a lot faster because of the spreads. Whereas if you pick one of the other ones, it may be tighter, simpler, you know, similar to yours. So I like to use the Trader's Way broker, but you could technically use whichever one that you would like to use um, where that's concerned. But it has, so like if you have JAFX as a broker, then use the scanner for jfx because it's catered specifically to your broker like my broker is lmfx which is not over here so that's why i use trailers way however um if they create lmfx that's what i would use so based off of your broker you want to pick according to that but if your broker is not listed i personally like trailers way but you can technically pick you know whichever one that you would want to pick so, um, and so it's a little different. So if you pick Trader's Way, it'll pop up here, the brokers, and you have to click, and then you have to hit scan for M15. On the call this morning, some people were saying that they think that the newest trades are showing up at the bottom of the list now instead of at the top. So I have corporate actually looking into that. We're supposed to get a call shortly so we can confirm that. And from what it looks like, I think that might be right because these were the ones that were at the top when we were doing our call this morning. So you would technically click on one 
And I just want to show you guys this real quick. So when you're showing someone a scanner, so this already hit paid profit three, which is great. But what I want to show you is this. And you take the time to do this yourself when you get a chance. But every, um, when it hit the D, you see that it was past the entry point. When I literally click through um, the ones that I had the opportunity to click through, it always has that entry point before it drops. So that shows you like that D move. So don't just focus on the D and it touches a D. If it has not hit that entry point yet, then you want to, um, you know, wait and be patient. And if you see a signal, and like even with this particular signal, a riskier person is probably going to jump in this because they're like, oh, it's not a take profit one yet. But I've been teaching my new people, try to get them on that perfect entry because as you can see, that entry is up here. So even in the retracing, they're still in profit. Whereas if you jump in down here because you're trying to ride the take profit one because it ain't hit yet, you could be a potential risk if it tries to retrace first before going back down. So trade at your Neil, own I'm risk sorry. for that. Neil, I'm sorry. That last part, what were you saying? I was saying that, um, what did I say? <laughs> you said you have, to, you have to be careful because it might retrace or something. Right. So I was saying, like, I was uh, talking to a couple of new people this morning. So let's just say this was a particular trade. And um, the entry was here when this candle confirmed. And the person who got in right here, even with all this retracing that's happening, they're still in profit because they got in good. Somebody else may look and say, hey, this hasn't hit take profit one yet. Until you've gotten savvy enough to be able to recognize when retracing is happening, when to recognize a new entry. I personally recommend if the if the trade has already moved significantly, especially like more than three candles from when the D formed, then just wait to the next trade. Like we're not at a limit of trade, you know? So just wait for the next thing to happen because the person may try to jump in right here and the scanner is not 100%, so it doesn't mean it's going to go here. It probably will, but let's just say you enter here, and as soon as you enter, instead of that thing still going down to take profit one, you're now riding this back up to entry, and it may even go to the stop loss, so you've even put yourself in position to risk even more. So making sure you understand the risk to reward lot sizes and you know, not just being so overly anxious to trade and just wait for a perfect setup and just catch it at the right time. Yeah, there'll always be more trades. So don't get caught up in that hype. So let me show you guys this one last thing real quick and Dr. Joe, I'm gonna turn it back over to you. And this is what Janelle showed me that gave me so much life. All right, so over here, you have an option for long positions and high positions so you can see your entries and things, um, well, your pips. So this is a sell, so you want short position. So you're going to go here and hit short, and then you come and click on the entry point, and it creates this. So what happens is you now drag to your stop loss and whatever entry point or take profit you want to go to. You see? And so let me drag it out so we can see everything. Oops, sorry. Hold on. There we go. So it tells you. If you enter here, I can't see it. Hold on. Let me zoom. Janelle, tell me if I'm doing this right. Okay. So it tells you if this is your entry and you ride it to the stop loss, that's a risk of 63 pips. If you take this entry and ride to this stop loss, that's 84.9 pips. So that goes ahead and tells you where you are. But the awesome thing about it is with this potential strategy, you may enter the trade at a different point. So like, let's just say you enter your trade here instead. You can still adjust it and see, okay, you know, I'm risking 75.4 pips to gain 73 pips, which is not like a good trade. So you need to figure out what you need to do to adjust your risk. You know, you have to, you know, be savvy with it. So this is pretty cool because it lets you see that without having to do the calculations yourself. So. I just thought that was cool. So, Dr. Joe, that's all that I have, unless anybody has questions for me or Janelle or Kathy or anybody. Yeah, anybody have any questions? Hey, Neil, I don't have no questions, but that was so good. Time how you did that? 
Huh? Sorry, could you show us one more time? I, I, how did you move it? Like your stop loss and your entry. Can you do it one more time if that's okay? Mill. Yeah, sure. Let's Thank do you. the trade that we just put in so people can know what we're standing to risk and what we stand to gain. Okay, which trade was that? that hey, was hey, Mill, can, let's look at, can, can, we, look at, can we look at US okay. CAD? Because it just um, alerted. Who? US CAD? Yeah. It's not showing up on this scanner yet. Oh, okay. It's showing up on my computer scanner. But Maybe I want to show them. Can we do CAD JPY? Yeah, that's the one Janelle just asked for. Oh, okay. You Is have to look for it on, it's on Pepperstone. Oh, Pepperstone. All right, hold on. And, all right, here we go. All right, so let me zoom in on here. So you can see, I didn't mean to do it that way. Let me just do that all over <laughs> by that. Okay. So we're going to kind of bring it here. Why is my thing doing this? Sorry, you guys. One more time. It don't want to act right. Mill, you want a MacBook? I, no, I'm on a PC. Oh, never mind. I can't help you. I bind it. Okay, here we go. Let me zoom a little bit more. I think we got it. Let me just spread. Okay. Bring it in some. So this is a little better. It's still kind of tight. But anyway, so let's just say our entry was around here. I don't know why. This is annoying. But anyway, our entry is here. So you go here to this icon. So you have long position. So you click long position if it's a buy. So that's what we're going to pick in this case. If it's a sell, you hit short position. So we're going to click long position. And then we're going to go to our entry. So let's just say we enter about right here. Okay. So when you enter, you spread it out so you can see everything. You move everything to your stop losses. So if you're going to put the stop loss here, and if you're going to write it to take, let's just say you're going to write it to take profit too. So that shows you that you're risking 8.2 pips to gain 21.8 pips. Does that make sense? Did I do that right, Janelle? <laughs> yes, you did. You did it. You did it perfect. Um, people may get confused because they see, you know, 0 0.8082. But what you're going to do is you're going to put a decimal point. <clears throat> You're going to put a decimal point in between the last number and the numbers before it. So you're going to move the decimal points to two points over, unless you're in the H1, H4, or D1 chart. Got it. So, so then that helps you go ahead and see what your risk to reward is without you having to actually do the math like I do. <laughs> so Janelle saved me some time. I really appreciate that. I am indebted to you for you know saving me those extra three minutes thanks so much any more questions on this you guys um yeah the call was actually recorded so we will definitely get that out um it'll be in the telegrams and we'll post it in rising profit and things like that um so yeah so that's all i have any other questions comments or anything or dr july i'll turn it over to you I have a question. Okay. Um, how do you turn it off or, or delete that? I was following it this morning and I just couldn't get out of it or delete it. How do you do you that? Just click, um, click on one of the circles, um, right click on the circle and just hit remove. Okay. All right. Or, Thank you. or you can click on it and just press delete on your keyboard. Oh, that, that works too. Okay. I'm going to do that, Steve. See, Janelle. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So any other questions, Dr. Jewel? It's on you. Does anybody or have any Dr. other Chine. questions? Dr. Oh, Chine, yes, hello. Come on. Any other questions from anybody? Yes, hello. I have a question. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. yeah I have two different brokers and that uh, trade that we tried to put in just now, the CAD JPY. I was able to put it into my JAFX, but I couldn't put it into the LM. FX. I don't know why. I don't understand that. Uh, did you just enter buy or sell? Like, did you just enter buy? Yeah, buy limit. Yes. 
So it's not a pending order. You should have just answered it. So if you try to do a by limit, um, if okay, so with the pending orders, you have like your buy limit, buy stop, sell limit, sell stop. So depending on which way the market is moving in conjunction to how you want to buy or sell depends determines if you want to do a limit or a stop. So if you're ever entering a, a pending order and you do buy stop and it doesn't work, it's probably because you should have selected buy limit. So you just need to go back and change it to the other option and enter the trade. But in this particular case, hit the entry point, you should have just went in on a buy, not an actual pending order. Right. Oh, you mean do a market execution? Correct. Oh, that's what's going on. Okay. Okay. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome. Hey, hey, Mill, this is Monica. I have a question. Okay. Hey, I want to know, is there any way that um, the scanner can notify you or text your phone when it hits the entry point? Um, there's not a way that the scanner can notify you of that. Um, I use an app called Call Levels that you can download on your phone. And so, for example, if I see that this is where the entry point is and it, it's not gotten there yet, I can go into call levels and I can pick the pair and pick the, the price that I want to be alerted at. And I'll get an alert on my phone to say it's there, which prompts me to go back to look at the scanner. Okay, so call levels. Yes, you it's an app you download from okay. the Google Store. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's good for the Android too? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Hey. Hey, hey, any other questions? This was so good. Camille and Janelle, brilliant. Camille, I had one question that's okay. You mentioned that you use LMX. Um, I heard someone say it's a good broker. When I went on it today, they had three different accounts, a premium account, a fixed account, and a zero account. And I had no idea which one to pick. Which one would you say? Sorry, I was muted out. I use the premium. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there a video available that shows you... Is there a video available that shows how to add the 15 minute expert advisor pattern to the down? So here's the deal. With the harmonic scanner, there are two different scanners that you can actually download. One is um, the traditional scanner that does like the day, uh, hour, four hour, all of that. Then they have what's called a binary scanner. The binary scanner gives you alerts for uh, one minute, five minute, and 15 minutes. So I have the binary scanner. Now I believe that is maybe uh, back on this. Um, hold on, somebody. Okay, I muted somebody. everybody, Mill. Go ahead. Honey. Sorry. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, binary scanner um, and some other scanner. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Janelle. So, Kathy could probably give some feedback on the regular scanner because since I only trade the 15 minute, I just have the binary scanner downloaded. But if I'm not mistaken, um, in your settings, you're able to pick which time frame you want to choose. So, like on my downloaded scanner, I just have 15 minutes, but now that Dr. Jill mentioned that stuff about the five, I'm getting ready to go and add the five so I can kind of test it out and see myself with that one. So, um, so yeah, so that's the only feed that I have. Um, are there are these downloads available on iPhone? It's just laptop. So if you want the downloadable version, so let me show you. This is the downloadable version of the scanner right here. So I like it too um, because you can kind of see more like what we showed you on the, the web scanner. Here it automatically tells you your um, the pips that you're risking or the reward based on your entry, stop, and take profit. I think that's super cool. Um, this is a good one too. Do y'all see here? Well, no, it didn't technically hit the D. It was close, but it's on its way down. I don't know. Anyway, this is your AUD, the one Janelle talked about. Chanel talked about. But anyway, um, 
I totally forgot what I was talking about. I'm sorry, guys. My mind is like running 10,000 miles a minute. Um, let me go back to my questions. Oh, so yeah, so basically the web scanner is what you would have to use, Miss TK, on your phone, tablets, and stuff like that. If you want this, it has to be downloaded onto a computer. Um, yes, the pay, the, I'm just checking the question. Hey, to see. hey, hey. Yeah, this Euro this AUD is looking good. Yeah, it's on its way. It looked like the, the week went right up to the, to the entry and drop, which is surprising for sharks. I don't trade shark shit, but it's paying out at this moment right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, Chanel says she's in it. No, this can um this this one can't be downloaded on a tablet. Uh, the only way you can download the scanner on a tablet, cause like I have like a little mini computer too, but it's one it's a Windows tablet. That's the only tablet you can download it on, cause a Windows tablet technically still uses a CPU and has the space. And so um, I can literally take the take the tablet off of the keyboard and have a tablet with the scan with this scanner on it. So if you have a Windows tablet, yeah, you can do that. But like your traditional Androids, iPads, and things like that, you you wouldn't be able to um, do that. All right, Dr. Jewel. All right, Dr. China. That was great, Millie, Janelle. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate that. That was excellent today, Dr. C. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, everybody. Oh, my goodness. That was off the chain. Whoever <laughs> missed this doggone call, they missed the money, honey, as well as all that amazing training that you provided, Camille. That was so, so good. I'm so excited that this is recorded. This is really taking us all to the next level up in these charts. My husband and I actually was up real late last night, um, you know, just putting these currency pairs in and analyzing the charts and it's just it's just incredible it's so much fun i was in new orleans on friday my dad and i we love I'm showing him how to use the harmony scanner so this is a blessing it's bringing families really close together those that really take this thing by the horn and get on in here um are just making some incredible incredible moves here so i'm excited i don't really have a whole bunch to say except let's make it happen let's continue to learn and engage i'm grateful to what christopher terry is doing you did a phenomenal job last night do on that seven figure mentorship call that was really really good um staying plugged in connected and focusing on getting those goals knocked out of the way knowing who you're working with helping them to get set up and connected um so that they're in a winning position as well but i'm just excited so much value when we all bring our gifts together in one space we we get it done and that's what's happening right now we're laying some sound foundation uh, for the people who are going to come behind us to be able to get on in here and do it even more quickly than what we're doing it right now. So I'm grateful and excited to see every single person win, every single person hit their goals today and uh, make it happen. So that's it for me. God bless you guys. I guess that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. Let's get these pips. God bless. Bye-bye.